Hi everybody, it's Stephanie. Well, there is a difference between having wealth and having wealth forever. And that is the topic of the book, Get Rich, Stay Rich, Pass It On by Catherine S. McBreen and George H. Walper Jr. It was published in 2006 and this showed a lot of foresight on their part because this was right before the uh, big bubble burst. They talk about the two paths to creating a revenue stream. This book is not about going from zero to a billion dollars, a little bit about attaining wealth, but mostly it is about passing wealth on to future generations indefinitely. According to the author's own clinical and other research, there are two paths to perpetual wealth, real estate investment, such as having rents, and investing or owning continually innovative enterprises. If you are on the cutting edge of technology or just new ways of doing things, the new ways being the ways that bring in a lot of income. If you have a company like that or you invest in companies like that, you have a really good chance of passing on your wealth. The book is geared towards three groups. The mass affluent, which is anyone who has $100,000 to $1 million, not including their primary residence. The millionaires, $1 to $5 million, not including the primary residence. And mega millionaires, anyone who has over five million dollars not including their primary residence. It also mentions a few families that created enormous wealth but it was gone within less than two generations because a stream of revenue was not created. Two ways to create a stream of revenue according to this book, real estate and then investing or owning continually innovative enterprises. I thought of bitcoins. The book talks about the importance of financial advisor and a little bit about the character of your advisor. I personally feel that there could be a whole book just on the importance of the trustworthiness and character of your financial advisor. This is my suggestion, it's not in the book. If you are interviewing for a financial advisor and you find out that they have gone to jail for any kind of financial dealing, do not go with them no matter what they say. Also, if they have settled out of court and have claimed no wrongdoing in any kind of financial matter, again, turn away and do not use that financial advisor no matter how convincing they sound. I know it sounds like common sense, but when you're with someone and they're in front of you, they can sometimes be very convincing. Overall, I really like this book, Get Rich, Stay Rich, Pass It On. It is not about accumulating wealth. It is about creating a stream of revenue to pass on to your children and future generations, possibly indefinitely. Again, it's by Catherine S. McBreen and George H. Walper Jr. I hope you enjoyed this review of the book. And my name is Stephanie. Comment below what you'd like to see in the future. Like the video if you like it and subscribe if you like. I'll see you next time. Bye.